great energy in the room today. This is really wonderful. We're here for our honors assembly for middle school, and uh, we want to use our time wisely. We've got a lot to do here in a short amount of time. One of the things that I want to recognize is that you've all, you're coming up on final exams. You've made it through another grade, and uh, we're doing a great job this year. And we're here to celebrate achievement of some students before they go into high school, which is a, a big thing for eighth graders, for sure. Um, one of the lists that we have a lot of achievement with is our dean's list and our honor roll. Today we won't be uh, naming those students, but instead we post those names on social media and have a list that we can share after the ceremony. And if you would like to get a certificate for the dean's list or the honor roll list, if, you, if you're on that list, if you send me an email and request it during project term, I will create a certificate just for you. So, if you would like to get a certificate, um, email me, Peter Middleton, Dean of Students, yes, and I will get you one. In order to be on the Dean's List, you have to have a cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 4.0. So those are the, the top GPA students. And then the next top GPA students are honor roll students, and they have a GPA of 3.25 to 3.74. Yes. The first awards that we give out are our department awards, and those are presented by people from each department. Our first department award will be for history, presented by Stephen Gray. Yes. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, my name is Steve Gray. I'm one of the eighth grade history teachers here at Black River, and I have the privilege of presenting the award for the most outstanding historian of the year for eighth grade. There are many students in eighth grade who are great historians. There are many students who are good writers, involved participants in our class discussions, good test takers, inquisitive thinkers, high academic achievers, and students who will challenge an accepted idea. The students there are students who will go the extra mile when writing a paper or working on a project, like the Renaissance Project, or even doing basic homework assignments. This student meets all of these qualifications and more. This student comes to class with knowledge already acquired from their own individual study. Academically, this student has done a fantastic job. In history, we have three categories in the gradebook, homework, quizzes, and tests. Uh, and then writing. In all three of these categories, this student has an exemplary 100% average. It's amazing. When completing their homework, they go the extra mile. They do what is required and more. They excel in testing, recalling information, and writing and drawing conclusions about what we've discussed in class. When writing about various topics, they're always concise and yet informative. They're willing to put in the extra work to pull out information and facts that others do not include. They seem to enjoy studying individual people's lives, which is really what history is. History is the telling of other people's stories individually and collectively. Our hope is that they will continue to develop their love of history and the study of people in their lives in high school and beyond. This year's History Student of the Year for the eighth grade class of 2024 is Sarah Leahy. Congratulations, Sarah. Hello and welcome. I am Nathan Meyer, the head of the math department here at Black River Public School. And as Mr. Gray was saying, it is a very challenging process to uh, select the best of the best for eighth grade. Uh, so this year, the math department said, we're not going to do that. We're going to select three best of the bests. All right, so here we go. I'm going to describe the three categories this falls into. Uh, category number one is called the Achievement Award. It's awarded to the student who has displayed mathematical ability above and beyond our requirements. One who has engaged in our classes to the fullest extent, has shown curiosity, reaches for deeper understanding, who's attempted to work ahead and challenge themselves beyond the current grade level. This award goes to one who has exemplified math learning and models to the highest success for all of all their coursework. The second award, called the Investment Award, is for a student who has exemplified learning at grade level, who has engaged in the class discussions has been a leader in the group and who helps the team to improve and uses the time in class 
to better themselves and their classmates. This is one who makes the classroom more complete by being part of it and a better math learning environment for the whole group. And the third part goes to our dedication award. For a student who's able to improve their skills taking math from being an avoidable challenge to being an engaging and lesson in improving their skills, this student has shown tremendous effort and dedication to learning, to build the pathways to better understanding. I'm gonna read all three names, but let's hold our applause until we hear all three. For the Achievement Award, I welcome back Sarah Leahy. For the Investment Award, Casper Banner. And for the Dedication Award, Rafa Casianos. It is really, really difficult, and we're not all just saying that. Like, it is very difficult, and lots and lots of names are thrown out there. But we did narrow it down. So uh, for this year, for the Science Achievement Award, um, this student is someone who is always hardworking and dedicated to all they do. They lead with positivity, accountability, respect, and a quiet confidence in themselves, always helping keep others around them on task. Not only do they excel in regular science courses, but they are also heavily involved in BR's first robotics team and are interested in pursuing science as a future career. Um, we've had several conversations together about this. In an era that's becoming increasingly dominated by AI, they're determined to succeed through their own creativity and strong problem-solving skills. I have personally seen the student grow through coaching cross-country as well and see so much of my younger self in them. It is my honor to present this award to the highly deserving Naomi Tellman. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Karen Rowe, and this year I was delighted to teach all of the eighth grade English classes at Black River. The eighth graders have energy and personality in droves, and I have deeply appreciated them all for their engagement and encouragement throughout the year, especially as I was recovering from hip surgery. We have not had a dull moment in English 8 this year, and for that, I thank all of you, <laughs> especially C Block. <laughs> I honestly couldn't decide, so I have selected not one, but two students for the 8th grade English Award. And both are students who delved into Greek mythology, the Odyssey, the Alchemist, or Lord of the Flies with quiet confidence and maturity, showing wisdom well beyond their years. These students have elevated the quality of discussion in their classes by reading attentively, showing intuitive understanding of character development and motivation, and pushing their classmates to consider multiple perspectives on the books and topics we have pursued together. Often even helping me see a favorite story in a slightly new way. These two students have made me super excited to open the best drafts of their essays all year long, whether it be a narrative essay featuring an enlightening element of culture with a superb hook and flawless dialogue, or a polished draft that was the result of many curious questions about writing and determined revision after revision until I felt like I could truly experience their journey vicariously. They have both set ambitious independent reading goals this year, one burrowing into J.R.R. Tolkien's world of The Lord of the Rings, and the other tackling nearly the entire catalog of Rick Riordan's Greek mythology books. Beyond that, these two students have delighted me with the kindness I have watched them share with their peers and teachers and the smiles they have brought to class every day. I have no doubt that the two of them will not only reach the very high goals they have set for themselves, but also make the world a noticeably better place. I am gratified to present the dual 8th grade English award to Evan Carrillo and Omar. Yeah!
Um, I am presenting the Spanish Department Award. I teach Spanish for. I tried to retire last year, but it didn't take. So here I am again. I only taught second semester, but um, the student receiving the middle school Spanish award is in a Spanish 4 class, which is quite an accomplishment for young students. This student has, um, I was so impressed with this student that I didn't even know until about a month ago that this student was in middle school. Um, constantly acts with maturity, um, also is dedicated to learning and to excellence, and um, really shows excellence in all the areas of Spanish in reading, writing, speaking, and as well as, since we spent a large part of our time this semester, in grammar, and this student catches on to that very fast and does very well. Aside from all of the academic qualities, I feel like this student is helpful and kind to others and just an all-around good student and good person. It is my honor to present the Middle School Spanish Award to Evan Carrillo. Hello, I'm Miss Gorris, and I teach eighth grade art this year, but I have also had some of you in sixth grade, and a lot of you in fourth and fifth grade, <laughs> way back when. And maybe first through third, I don't remember. Um, but like everyone else said, I felt like this year I've had some of the best artwork I've uh, had in eighth grade in years. Um, it was very, very hard to decide uh, who to choose, but there was one person that had stood out to me um, that I've had, and Miss Donahue also agreed with this because she had this student last year. Um, this person stood out to me because they have immense creativity and individuality in their artwork um, over the three years that they have taken art in middle school. And they're always willing to put forth effort in detail. They're willing to rework things um, when it's suggested. They're always asking, what can I do next? What else can I do? Um, they, their projects show finesse um, and craftsmanship, and everything is very uniquely that students. It's easy to see who's, you can identify it easily when looking at them all together. Um, even in visual journals that we do in class, um, concept designs are always way better than I expected. They, they always exceed my expectations. Um, they show more time and effort spent on them than most people do on those. So I really hope that this student continues to take art in high school because I could see them developing a really unique and strong AP portfolio one day. Um, and this award goes to Mason Smith. All right. Um, my name is Miss Clark. I am director of the orchestras here, and you'll notice that um, I'm not the only one up here. Mr. Wimbush, uh, our main band director, is also presenting. So we actually have two music department awards to give out this year. We have two eighth graders who are going above and beyond in music, and there were a lot of excellent students to choose from um, that have really done a wonderful job all year. Um, and throughout their middle school time in music. So I'm going to start with the first eighth grade award recipient. This is a member of Advanced Orchestra. She's taken private lessons for many years, has played in the Holland Area Concert Strings, has participated in MSBOA Middle School Solo and Ensemble, and played in this year's Pitt Orchestra for Les Mis. So congratulations go out to Lucy Scogan. Lucy, come on up. Congratulations, Lucy. 
And what Ms. Clark had mentioned earlier in regards to us having two, it was uh, two recipients of the Music Department Award. It was very difficult to narrow down the choices to just one because in addition to Lucy, we had another individual who was in multiple ensembles, um, regularly is taking up leadership within her section, um, has a great demeanor working with students that are much younger and much older than them and is in multiple ensembles. This year they are in symphonic bands, jazz lab, they've been in pit orchestra, and they have been in full orchestra as well. Please give a round of applause for Naomi Tellman. Good morning. My name is John K. Donnelly. Uh, dean of Students, Doors and Ducks, to take care of things around here, and I'm so happy for the parents who are able to uh, join us, and all of you kids for being pretty well behaved, so thank you. Um, it's my honor to present the Community Service Award, and also I'd like to give a shout out to some of you when you're in even elementary school at the starts of COVID. A lot of you kids found ways to help your neighbors or family members or grandparents to complete community service, even when stuff was kind of shut down. So our Black River kids are exceptional, and they, they take care of things. Uh, most recently, I've also seen uh, students that have completed work at 8th Day Farms. A lot of weed pulling, a lot of weed pulling entries have been received, and that's good. And one of the creative ones I saw, uh, painting pumpkins for nonprofits. I like the alliteration of that one, that's pretty good. I see one parent who knows exactly what I'm talking about, maybe two right there in the back. Uh, but our middle schoolers make a positive effect on the community in some ways that go unnoticed to some. But, but not to all, so that, that means a lot to me. So it's my honor to present the following 10 students with a recognition, and this year all of these students have a minimum of at least 80 hours of community service, which is four times the 20 hour requirement. So that's how I picked the top 10 plus all 10 had 80, 80 plus. So if you'll bear with me, and once you hear your name comes up, and you can clap whenever you hear someone's name, that's fine, we'll move this along. We have Emiliano Alonso. We have Brooks Colby. We have Esther, Esther Eddington. Eva Eddy. Isabel Hartman. Brenna Hutchra. Sarah Leahy. Kate Ruiz. So we are And last but not least, Naomi Tellman. The last category is all A's in five semesters. That means that in sixth grade, seventh grade, and um, last semester, um, five semesters total that students have all A's. I'd like to ask Mr. Brunick to come up and help me confer these certificates for these students. Ananya Anan. Luke Fad. Emma Fad. Evangeline Emig. Isaac Foreman. Sarah Leahy. Reagan Murphy. <laughs> Lucy Stogan. <laughs> Naomi Tellman.
Thank you, Mr. Middleton. And I just wanted to say to all of you, whether you received an award today or not, we're really proud of you guys. Yeah! Yeah. That's right, Ernie. No, this is a this is a great class of middle schoolers who are going to be high schoolers very very soon. And what I'm about to say to you now, you're going to hear again this fall from me again, saying that middle school is awesome. You guys have done great work, and next year, the work that you turn in can lead to you guys having an easier path to anything that you do in life. Middle school is the same way, but now, starting next year in high school, those transcripts are what you're gonna to send to colleges. Some of you won't have to pay for college yeah. because you're gonna do awesome work in high school. Some of you are gonna get opportunities you never even dreamed of because you understand what it's like to work at Black River, which just last week, was again, we're not taking questions right now, right? was named again by US News and World Report as the number one charter school in the state of Michigan. So enjoy this, enjoy the, the finishing up of middle school. You still have exams next week. Don't blow those up. Have fun. Study hard. Have a great project term. And get ready for what will be even more challenging next year. With that, before you're dismissed, because you're not dismissed now, I would like to say to the teachers and staff, thank you for your dedication to these students. I know that you are tired yet you continue to work tirelessly. Thank you. And for the family members and friends of these students, it is an honor to have you here at Black River. You made a choice to be here, and we are so glad that you put your trust in us to work with your amazing kids. We are VR. Thank you, and have a great rest of your day.